runs out, we can take care of it. Great idea, and I'm glad they adopted that. Absolutely, and it's going to be a great thing for this year. It uh, allows you to get a little more evaluation of your kids. Now, some of the things uh, you're thinking about maybe post-baseball, we were talking about it. Uh, your dad, longtime judge, U.S. Congressman John Carter. Any thoughts of getting into politics? I've been asked that question a bunch. Uh, I like politics. Uh, my dad's involved in it, but that's in, in the man upstairs. That's in God's hands, in my wife's hands. If my wife agrees and, the, and God wants me to do it, he'll show me that path, and I'll go that direction when the time comes. Right now, I'm enjoying my job a lot. Now, how did, does this have a ring to it, Congressman John Carter? I know you've heard of that a lot, but <laughs> Congressman John Carter, what do you think? Uh, only time will tell. I, I'm not going to run for Congress, I can tell you that right now. Uh, it, may not, it may not be the first job I go for if I do, decide to go. Usually, like city council or something, you got to start start small. And, and Some some folks uh, go for the big shot, uh, the, the big office right out of the gate. We well, you think. know, my dad says it all the time. He gets more people, oh, you're Coach Carter's dad, instead of, hey, you're my congressman. There you uh, go. Because I do get to impact kids growing up, and he sees them at the grocery store, and that's how, you know, they've seen his picture up on my wall in my classroom, and they associate the two. So I'm very blessed to be in the family I live in and in the school and the community I live in, and um, it's just been a blessing all the way around. Speaking of politics, you've, you've got a lot of experience uh, dealing with the Booster Club and the parents. Uh, that can get political sometimes too, right? Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Um, booster clubs are, are great uh, tools when the parents understand it's not it's not about their helping their kid get a position on their team. It's about helping the program get better. It's about the program. What are some of the things you could share? You've got a lot of experience at the high school level. Is that uh, you know that middle school parent? It's uh, wanting to get involved uh, at the high school level. Their kids uh, uh, probably going to play high school baseball. What, what's some words of wisdom you can give that parent that uh, might be listening right now as they're driving down uh, uh, an interstate in Texas or California or Florida that's tuning in? Well, the biggest thing I can say is love your child. Give them, let them know you love them. Hug them. Encourage them to do their best. Um, my, my dad used to tell me all the time, son, if you, if you know you walked out there and you did your best, you can hold your head high. Even if you don't make the team, you can hold your head high and say, I did my best. My best is always good enough. And that's what I tell my, my parents. Um, we want you to, to love your kid because that's your number one deal. You don't like to see your kid hurt. I don't like to see him hurt. Uh, tough decisions have to be made. That's why they, I guess they quote, unquote, play me the big bucks, so to speak. But love your child. Tell them you love them. Encourage them to do their best and tell them that their best is always good enough. Win or lose, you're in a win-win situation. Coach Carter, I got you right here in the hot seat. And I always like to ask our guests a question that might make them a little uncomfortable. Okay. Make sure you don't get up and turn the desk over or anything. No, not at all. But uh, Coach Barry Russell just popped by here, uh, just just retired uh, out of the Midland area, and uh, he's the president of the Texas High School Baseball Coaches Association. I want to ask you, and I'm probably going to ask every guest that comes on this weekend, uh, uh, give us a, a good Barry Russell story. Oh, my. Well, I was fortunate enough to be with Barry in uh, on the Team Texas uh, circuit whenever we, that we would take the seniors, the te- top seniors in the state, and go up. And basically what I would describe it as is a grudge match. You're not playing for a trophy or anything. You're playing for a T-shirt maybe, and but you're playing for bragging rights. Playing for pride. Yeah, exactly. And we, uh, we got out some of the top kids in the state of Texas, and we go up there and um, – we, we compete for seven days. It's You play, what, ten ball games in seven days, and it's a grudge match. Well, we were up in, in uh, Norman, Oklahoma, and Barry, uh, we went to the um, to the casino up there, and Barry won a little money. And next thing you know, Barry, we go to the a place called McConnell's. Well, let me ask you, did he buy everybody dinner? Uh, yes, that's, what, that's the, where the story is going. Barry, before the night was over with, Barry ended up with no money. <laughs> In a, full, in a phone booth. <laughs> oh, no money in a phone booth calling for somebody to help him come pick him up? Uh, you could say that. He was. He may have not been calling somebody. I think he was just kind of sitting in the phone booth because he re- didn't realize he had spent as much money as he had spent. Wow. That's good stuff. But Barry's a, Barry's a great guy, and he's a great – he gives back to, to this association and uh, his friends, and I can tell that story because he's a friend of mine. 
Now, what's a message? It's always, uh, you know, most high school seniors, uh, most of them will not play college ball. It's hard to, to go to the next level. You know, we see that shrinking pyramid of players that, you know, start off as little leaguers, sure. then, then go to uh, select ball in the summers, then high school ball, keep shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. What, what's the message you tell your outgoing seniors that, you know, will never step on the field again uh, for amateur baseball? Uh, what words of advice do you give them? What I try to encourage them to do is take our core values. Uh, we have five core values in our program. They're accountability, brotherhood, character, grit, and passion. And take those things that you've learned that we're all about. Every time you come to our field, we hope that you can see those core values in the way we do things and take them into the, into the real world. Don't be afraid to give back to your community. Uh, we, we do 20 hours of community service every year as a part of our classroom grade, so to speak. Uh, go be, give back to other people, and the uh, benefits you receive from it will be tenfold. Coach, before we uh, depart, uh, any, anybody else you want to give a shout-out to? There's, there's three people I want to shout-out to. My wife. My wife is my, my angel. She's the, the love of my life, and I'm blessed to have her. And my twin boys, they turned six years old in four days. Uh, I have, I'm 48 years old, and I have six-year-old boys, and they're the pride and joy of my world. Wow. Hey, uh, I'm, a, I'm a twin. I've got a twin sister back in Lexington, Kentucky. So uh, That's cool. Twins, pretty neat deal. So congratulations, Absolutely. Coach. Wow, that's awesome. So you're going to be coaching for a long, long, long time. <laughs> that's what they say. You'll get started again with them in their, uh, in their youth league. Uh, I helped their t-ball team last, last oh, that's uh, great. fall. So when right. I'm not on the football field or the baseball field. I'm with those, those three because they're everything to me. Coach John Carter, 2017 Baseball Coach of the Year here in the great state of Texas, Round Rock High School Dragon Head Coach. Thank you so much for being on Behind the Dish. It's my pleasure. I'm very flattered and honored to be here. Thank you. Hey, everybody. My name is Kyle, and I'm the producer for Behind the Dish with John Piper. We put a lot of effort in here to bring you the topics and guests that we think are relevant to the sport of baseball and to your everyday life. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next one.